close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. As for anything else that may come into the mind, just let it go. The word meditate, bhavana in Pali, means to develop. And you're not trying to develop random thoughts. You're trying to develop concentration. That means staying with one thing. Some people say, I have to wait until I can find a really quiet place with no disturbances, no responsibilities, and then I can get quiet. But that's making your goodness depend on your environment. If you had to wait until the world was perfect before you could meditate, you'd never get any time to meditate. It seems very determined not to be perfect. So you've got to find and make your own space in the midst of a lot of imperfection, where the mind can settle down and try to perfect its mindfulness, its alertness, its ardency. And as for things outside, you have to let them go, at least for the time being. You have other responsibilities, perhaps, but not right now. Your responsibility right now is to maintain this state of concentration. Stay with the breath. Stay with the breath again and again and again. And after a while, the mind will start settling down. At first, it resists. The image the Buddha gives is of a wild elephant that's been trapped and brought into the city and tied to a post. And at first, all I can think of doing is getting away from the post. But it said the elephant trained his feet at good food, play it nice music, they speak politely to it, treat it well. And after all, it gets used to being around human beings. And then you can put it to work. The same with the mind. You give it something good to think about, speak nicely to it, get it to settle down. And then you can put it to work, working on its greed, aversion, and delusion. But for right now, settle down, settle down. Create a good place for the mind to settle down by the way you breathe, by the way you talk to yourself. And some of the wildness of the mind will get tamed. When the mind is willing to taste the food of concentration and enjoy the food, it's like the elephant finally being willing to eat. That they know that's when the elephant is going to live. And say when you, in the same way, when you meditate well, then you begin to appreciate the well-being that comes from the meditation. Then you know your goodness has a chance to survive. So hang on right here. Make right here a good place to be. And the mind will ultimately be willing to settle down, happy to be here, ready to do whatever work it needs to be done.